All right, everybody, welcome back, welcome back. It's June the 26th, and guess what? We're back on the creek. And so, um, before I get started, I'm gonna show y'all something. We had a big old flood. Well, it wasn't a big flood, but it was a, a decent flood. And the holes that we dug the last time that we was out here, look, they were all filled in, all the way to the top. I remember the last time I was there to stick my boot in the water and take it all the way down. Now, I'm right back on top. The hole, that was the rock I took out and that was the one behind it. It's filled in. And then our prior hole, that I was gonna try to connect them, this whole hole is filled in totally again. This is where I got the first rock at, from the first hole that me and the Mike Stroh was digging out of. So now all my holes are filled right back in. So right now, we're out here and Trey, Trey came back and of course, you know, Dash is back here trying to take his gold out the pan, but uh, that's what the Dash does. So we out here doing some, see he's digging for gold right there. I think he found something. Anyway, so we out here test panning again. And last time I, in the last video, I was right underneath there where that boulder is right there. And now that's where the snake came out at. So you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go up a little further and test pan up just a little further because let me show you how this creek works. So if you can see further up the creek there, I don't know if y'all can or not, but it narrows out and then it widens as it comes down. It turns around that corner and then all, it gets wide and it comes out. And so all this, the, the strong flow is on this side of the creek. And as it, where it narrows out and we're right, right up there where it begins, the widening begins, I'm gonna try that spot because there was good gold underneath that boulder and it still is because I never finished it. And there's still good gold in this hole and that hole. We never got to finish any of this out. So I'm sure there was new gold redeposited because this is the gold path. So I guarantee you there was, when that, when that, when it was in flood stage, more gold filled these holes up. Cause uh, look, at the, look at the big rocks that were pushed in here. See, those are some heavy rocks that were pushed in here. They weren't there before cause we moved them out. So that means that, that lets me know that uh, there's more gold cause it, it that means it was rough enough, it was also moving that gold down here too. So I can guarantee you there's gold in these holes again. Probably more so in this one first. Cause this one had to fill up first, and then secondly, this, this one had to fill up behind it, right here. But that's the theory. So that's my theory. So uh, yeah, so what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go down here and test pan and see what I can find. And hopefully I'll find some good stuff down here. If it is, I'll let Trey know. So we can come back and get it. And the gold hog is running nicely. So we haven't put anything in her yet. She's still running good. <sighs> All right, Dash, you ready to do this? Let's get it going, brother. All right, y'all. So I'm gonna go down here and do some test panning. I'll show y'all if I find something. All right, so uh, I just got through running one bucket and Trey said he ran, he ran one full bucket through the sluice. We seeing some decent gold behind the boulders. Trey just dug out. Now, that, that, like I said, there's the gold line that was going down here, going down this way, right? So he tried right here. He's test panning it now because he found that boulder sitting in the creek, so, which is in line with our sluice box. But, my bet he don't find nothing in there, but I don't know, he might find something in there. So, that remains to be seen. He's test panning it now. Well, my, uh, my guess is, behind these is a conglomerate of boulders right here. Look at all these boulders just piled up in this spot right here. So we have not tested this spot yet but they're all piled up together. And I'm thinking behind that piece of quartz and behind that, in this area, right in, this, in, right in that middle spot, in this whole, zero, this, this little zone, right in the middle between these boulders, that'll be the first drop off. And that's, look at that, that's right in line what I found my gold at last week, right there. And I still haven't finished digging that spot out yet. 
So what I don't think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna finish where I am. I'm gonna step over to that boulder, clean underneath that one, because I found gold underneath that one too. And then I'm gonna come back down and finish what I did last week. I mean, we don't, not, yeah, when I was getting out the, where the snake came out at right here. I'm gonna dig that area out where that boulder is, right here. And then, if Trey don't hit it first, I'm guaranteeing you, I guarantee you there's good gold right in this area right here. I'm almost ready to bet on it there's good gold right here. Probably the nice pieces too, because that's a good drop off spot. So we just had that flood uh, a few days back and the creek was running high. You can see how the tree is leaning up this way. That tree must've came down the creek and you see where the water flowed up here. You can see how the grass is pushing down this way. Knocked that tree over. So all this was underwater again. And the, and the rocks were flowing. I, I, I can see the rocks like running across the bottom, you know, beating across the ground. Just, just tons of rocks just, just flowing down the street. And that's how our, our holes got filled right back in. And, it was, and the force was strong enough to move some of these big rocks. So when the creek is that strong, of course, it's going to move the gold with it as well. So I want to see, I'm going to let y'all see if he find anything in that spot or not. But if he, if he does, now I'll be very surprised. So you're about to find out. Dash is on a hunt for something. Like I said, he loves the water. That's his spot. Hey Dash, could you find us another gold place? And actually y'all, believe it or not, last week I put in the video, I was joking, kind of, when Dash was digging up here on the creek and he was saying, I said, I'm gonna check that spot next. Actually in that area, it was gold. <laughs> a lot of you not. It was right across from the boulder right there that I found the snake on it. He was digging like right up here and he started digging right in this area. I said, okay Dash, let me, I'm gonna check that out next. And it was actually gold in that spot. So, Dash is the gold getting dog. Now he's trying to tell me something else. Dash, where's the gold at? Find the gold. Show me where the gold is. Find the gold. Go get the gold. Okay, look where he's going. He's going to the corners. Okay, he went up the hill. Okay, that's not the goal, guys. That's not the goal. That is not the goal. That's not what I'm talking about. At least he's decent. He went out the creek and urinated out the creek instead of doing it in the creek. All right, so find that goal. Ah, right there. He found it. He said that rock. So I'm gonna do, I'm gonna seriously go check behind that boulder right there. And I'm gonna let y'all know that I finally go behind that boulder, both that boulder. Now see, he's where I'm at now, see? He just marked that spot, said it was gold there. Good boy, Dash. Thank you, buddy. I'm gonna go check that boulder out, okay? I'm gonna go check it out. So let's see what you, he's painting back now. Let's see what he got in here. I doubt it, cause that's not in the, the floor of the gold, but he might have something. Let's see? Little. Just one little piece, huh? Yeah, a couple. He got a couple of little, pe nearly small pieces of gold. But I'm guaranteeing you, Trey, right here. Look at that, look at that buildup of rock and that drop off. Now, like I just said, I'm gonna go up there real quick and check where Dash is, just to do a quick pan to see if there's gold in that spot or not, but he, but he by that boulder. So I'll let y'all know when I get up there, if any gold is in that spot where Dash just saw. All right, hold on. All right, y'all, so here's the spot that Dash just picked. Look at it. It looks decent. <laughs> y'all saw him do it. On the video, y'all see him do it, so there he is right there. Here's the spot he chose. Look at it, it's not, it looks nice. It's got a conglomerate of rocks. 
Look at the in between. Then it's got another spot out over top, and it's got another gold flow. I mean, a place right here. So right now, I got my pan. I'm gonna go ahead and test this. Dash, you might be on to something, buddy. I mean, I'm seriously, y'all. I'm not joking. This dog actually goes to spots and starts digging. See how he's checking the boulders? He checks the boulders out, and then he stopped at this one. And so, we're about to find out. Okay, he got something else. Look at him. He found another one. See him? I'm telling you, I'm going to check it. He said, he's saying behind that boulder right there. Look at him. See? Look at him. He's trying to get it up. Y'all seeing this, right? All right, Dash, I'm going to check that out. But first, I'm, and I'm right across to this one, where he found first. So let me get to it and see what I'm gonna show y'all. I'm gonna pan it back and see if there's anything in there. Hold on. All right, y'all. So I'm doing a pan back where Dash was right here. You see, that's the back of the rock. I still haven't got that and I haven't gone underneath it, but I just dug out the middle section right here. I moved the rock back a little bit. But look, it's gold in the pan. I'm just starting to do a pan back now and I'm actually seeing gold in the pan. Look, let's see. See the piece right there? Focusing on that one. And look right behind it. It's more gold coming out. So, yeah, there's gold in here. Look at those three right there. Just sitting right there some more so I, I just took a shovel uh, uh material out that hole and look at this someone coming out the back side so yeah um that found a gold spot y'all again right there so i'm gonna i'm gonna see i'm right there where the bucket is and dash just went up a little ways in front of me right here then I have to check the rock on the side of him too that he was trying to dig out the water over there. So I'm gonna come out and dig this whole little area out now. Cause there's some nice gold pieces inside this little bucket. I mean, inside my pan here. So good on dash. So right where my shovel is, my glove is, that's what I'm gonna be digging. I'm gonna dig that whole area out. I'm gonna first finish where I'm at right here cause I got a good little spot. That's across where he sat last time. So I dug that spot and I got some good gold. That's why I got my first bucket at. So I'm gonna go finish, I'm gonna clear that out. Now, now I changed my mind. I'm gonna come up here and knock this out real quick. So now Dash is down there by him. So yeah, Dash is the gold getting dog, y'all. For real. All right. <laughs> Not joking. Peace. See y'all in a minute. Okay. So. I just ran. Um, this is my third bucket right here. I'm about to run right now. I just half bucket, you know. Whew. Dash is down there, still trying to get that rock out the creek. I'm not gonna see him. My hands are wet. I'm gonna touch this one, But anyway, I'm about to run this bucket right here. And uh, this loot box is looking good. We are seeing gold in it. Uh, I see a piece of gold behind a ripple. Let's see if I can get down and see y'all can see that. Let me see. Maybe you can't see it. Let's see. Oh, you can see gold. I think that is it right there. Behind that ripple. Anyway, there's a nice piece in there. So, I don't know if y'all can see it or not. 
So I haven't, I still haven't dug behind a rock that Dad wanted me to get yet. But I will get to it. I'm, I'm one, one spot behind it. So when I finish this spot out, I'm going right to that spot. So I'm just gonna go ahead and run this, run my bucket real quick, and be on my way. Oh. See, long as the back end right here, long as it's not a, uh, I know I'm doing good when I don't have a, a pile of sand on that back end. As long as you see those ripples in the back, and I know you know we're doing really good. And we catching everything on here. These go hub max, they catch everything. We were test pen at the end of the box down there. And we and just you know, just some of the tailings that came off, there's nothing in it. So that's how I know we're catching the gold on this thing. Catches all the pieces. So like, like I said, make sure y'all check behind these rocks in the creek, you know. And these big rocks and stuff. So make sure y'all check behind them. Because, uh, and underneath them, you know, dig all around. When you find it, see, look at that, it's a piece of metal. You know I'm in a good spot. Dug a piece of metal up. But, uh, behind those rocks and around those rocks. Just dig up all underneath it, all around it, behind it. Get it all out. Dig out the whole area. Just stay in that area until you dig it out real good because you're gonna find some decent gold in that spot. And another thing I noticed too, when you find glass mixed in with your, your material, that's also a good sign you're in a good spot. For some reason, glass and gold kind of tend to stay together as well. So if you find like glass, broken bottles or something in your area, you know, when you're digging and you're tailing, then that's a good spot. And nine times, nine times out of 10, you're also gonna find gold in that spot too. And it's really simple. Just look for the areas where, cause you see, like when Trey dug behind that rock right there, up the creek right here, there was nothing in it behind that rock, but he said a little, a couple of little teeny ones. But as you see, it's closer to the main, you know, the main side of the stream, the, the, the flowing side of the stream. But the gold is gonna go to the least resistant part, which is the heavy part. And then it's gonna hang out with all the big boulders, like down this side. And that's where we pretty much find the good stuff at, right in that line. So you find the big boat, not near close to this side, was rough with the lee side. And then you will find, you start finding gold, little pieces, and then you gotta, you'll find the main part, and then you'll find like the little, the smaller pieces on the end. And so that's how it works. It's like small on the outside, in the middle, the zone is where you'll find the good stuff at. And then on the edges of it, you find the smaller bits. So at least that's my theory, of what I've been seeing out here. Let me get a few more buckets in and I'll get back to y'all. And the more you, another thing, the more you stay out here and do this, the more you learn about your creek and your area. You'll learn about how stuff flows. The more you uh, do test panning and you pay attention to stuff, you'll, uh, you'll find more, uh, you'll find more about your creek and how it flows and how the gold flows on it. Some gold, some creeks have big gold, some have small. Some have flower gold, some have, you know, mixed, a little mixture of it. Every once in a while out here, we find some big, little small nuggets, you know? I haven't seen any big big nuggets out here yet. But I, I wouldn't say there ain't that none here. I just haven't found them yet.
Alright. So let me go ahead and finish running this bucket. And I'll get back to y'all. So far, this is like I said, my third one. So we five buckets in right now. Straight ran two. And I got three. So I'm digging out Dash's spot, the one he found right here. And it is loaded with gold. It's a nice spot with gold. And each time I dig out, as I dig, I'm digging bigger, you know, big rocks out of here, these big little boulders out. And look how big that boulder was. I actually got it lifted up and I didn't know it was that big, but it was a lot of it was underwater again. So it was behind. That was the one that was behind. No, this was in front of this one. But then next to it, I got all these all around it. So I'm trying to dig this area out right here too. And it's, it's a little work, but cause there's some big rocks in here, you know, big, big rocks down in here when I'm trying to dig it out. But yeah, Dash found a good spot with some gold in it. There's a lot of heavy black sand and everything, you know, I'm also seeing, um, hey Trey, what is a little, what is a little red stones we find called? What's the little red stones we find called? The little red stones that we find when we pan it. What are they called again? What are they called? The little stones that we find, the red ones. Garnets, yeah, that's it. I always forget that name. So I'm finding a lot of garnets mixed in the material too down here. So, I call them rubies or whatever I call them, sapphires, but they're that little garnets, nice little red garnets in here. So every time I find glass, I'm finding glass. See like little metal pieces like right there. I don't know if you can see that little, that thing is metal. Little pieces of metal down in here. And I'm finding glass and I'm finding a lot of soft um, garnets. So that's a nice hole that um, Dad found. He's right across from me over there. Still in the water. Everything good, Dash? You good? Ready to eat? Okay, I'll give you something in a minute. You deserve it. You found a good spot. Again, right here. So I'm gonna go ahead and finish this out. I already got some of the material in the bucket. I just moved this boulder and I'm gonna go ahead and dig underneath that area right here. Try to get this out too. All right, y'all. All right, so. Uh, we've been close to the end of the day now. Total, we did like 13 buckets. Um, 13 half buckets. Trey did seven, and I did six. So, right now we're just throwing the pan back. Let me clean up. We hook the go hog is out the water. Dash is over there, finally laying down in the sun. Relaxing there. So we're gonna see what we got. Like I said, when you pan it in the creek, when you're doing it, after you run your sluice and you got all your material, you really want to pan into another pan. We also got a little bit dawn over there behind us. Try to, you know, just break the uh, surface tension in the water. But yeah, make sure if you pan it in the creek, always pan it to another pan. Because when you have that much gold in there, or you after you ran your sluice, it's, it might be filled with a lot of gold. And so you might actually then look like, uh, if you was in the creek, you might just pan it right back into the creek. You don't want to do that. So now by doing this, we can actually go back and check it. In case if you miss any, I can go back and repan it, and I should be able to find it if any was missed at all. But we had a fun time out here today. Whew. So uh, what I do like last week, what we probably do out here. Probably we might just do a cleanup, and then at home I show you the results. So all we do, we just put it in a bottle and then I take it back home. And then 
Let's see what we have at the end. So we're gonna leave out of here while it's still early in the day. Are you tired? Hmm? You tired? Mm-mm. Okay. You will be. You will be. Mm-hmm. Alright, so when we get down to the nitty-gritty, this is this gonna take a little bit. We'll kind of show y'all what we're getting, okay? Stay tuned. All he's doing is just stratifying it down. So all the light materials will come to the top and then hopefully the heavy gold will sink to the bottom. That right there. Is it pyrite? Uh, probably it's just pyrite. Yes. That's why they call pyrite foods gold. Sometimes it glistens like gold in the sunlight. I had stuck a little bit of this up. Most of the gold went down. This was just stuck at the back of the pan. Let's see. Let's see if I can get it up in the camera. Look. This was stuck at the back of the pan. Look at all those pieces. That's just at the back. The majority of the gold is down here in this dirt back here. That's just at the back. So we're about to suck this up. All right, so stay tuned. Whew. I don't know if y'all can see this or not, but there's a snake right there. See this? I'm coming up the corner. Right there. I think that's a water moccasin. Yeah. It's like the one that came out at me the other day. There he goes. So that's why when you're out here gold panning, you gotta be careful. That's a pretty big snake too. It's not small. They fast, so I don't want to get close to it. Just want to show you. It's a big snake. And he's watching me. Alright, so we heading out the creek right now. But yeah, there's one right there for y'all. Bye snake! <laughs> I know I don't want to move them. Right, I'm backing up for them. Just want to show y'all that. We're heading up out of here. Oh, he just dove under. Wow, he is so fast. Look at him. <laughs> Came right behind me. That's why I got to keep my eye on this joker. He's right up there by that rock. Let me get out of this crate. All right, y'all, I'm heading back. Just gonna keep my eye on him. All right, y'all, so here's the cleanup. I'm back home. And uh, this is what me and Trey just got today. Look at this line of gold, y'all. 
Look at that chunky piece right there. Coming all the way across. So that's what it looks like. We had a fun day out there on the creek today. You know, behind the um, looking behind the boulders, tray was on the side. It's a nice little pile right in this area right there. But look at that, y'all. So nice pile of gold. All along the back side of this pan. It's decent too. So again, y'all, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Stay tuned for more gold panning, more creek videos, more, I might do something, like I said, metal detecting, cryptocurrency, whatever. Whatever I come up with, I'll just make a video on it. All right. Thank y'all for watching these videos. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see y'all next time on our next gold panning adventure. Oh. And like I said, Dash, man, he really came through for us. Dash really came through. I might name this video after him because he keeps finding spots where there's gold at. And so when that rock I went behind, the one he found, it had a nice, it had, I was pulling up nice pans of gold. I said, this is all piled up pieces right here, y'all. So it's more than what it looks like. But it's all piled up. But yeah, Dash found he digs those spots out and we find gold in them. So that's amazing. So that's the golden, gold getting Jimmy Shepherd. All right, y'all. Y'all have a nice day. See y'all next time. Peace.